the nativity scene itself is a tool. It's a tool that we have to be able to remember what is important in life. How, how God likes to work with us. For God to be able to find a place to, for his son and send him to the world, he chose a manger. And what that means, means the way in which we need to prepare ourselves to welcome him. Not a fancy place, expensive place. It's the human heart who need to welcome him. Teachers always need, they need to have help to teach the children math, science, and all of that. They need to use tools that the children can understand better and learn better and easier. For us in our faith, it's a way that the nativity seem become a tool of faith, that through that, we can remember always that if we like to have room for Jesus, we need to become like a little manger. It's, it's a space, it's an opening in which grace transforms everything. Love transforms everything. It's very interesting to see that was an empty, dark, cold place. But with the presence of the Lord, things change. And a place in which nobody put attention before, because it was outside of the city, it was called a way, become a center of attraction a way in which people make pilgrimage to see what happened there. When we see the nativity scenes in our own homes, in our own churches, in public spaces, it's not only to see that, it's to remember the challenge that they have for us. Why we have a nativity scene? Why we like to have a put a nativity scene? Because it's a tool in which Jesus is teaching us that each one of us, we need to have in our own hearts, our little manger, that he will choose and the emptiness on our hearts with his love, he can transform us and make of us a place in which we are able to touch with love the people who are empty of love. We prepare nativity scenes. We prepare Christmas trees. We put flowers, we put this and put that to be able to celebrate Christmas. But the best preparation is looking the little tiny manger Christmas scene and to think is my heart like that little place in Bethlehem? Is my place, my heart, that place that Jesus is looking to come and transform? If we like to talk to each other, if we like to be open for a conversation, if we are looking to be close to each other, if we are all open to see the beauty of the other person. The challenge is right there. First, to let Jesus see us. Let him to love us. And when we know and we have that experience of love, we are open to the lives of the people who are around us. The Pope talked, and he mentioned a lot, Pope Francis, the periferia, the people who are living outside of the cities. But our mission in Christmas is going to the peripherias of the hearts of the people who are empty of love. How we become 
a Christmas gift of love to the one to the ones who are needing that love and make a transformation in love. When Jesus came, nobody knew about Bethlehem, the manger there. There were very few people after that, and that is what happened today. We are here, very few people. It's a mystery. Nothing starts big. Everything begins with a little tiny seed of love. And how that love transform our hearts is our challenge in which we need to have the beauty, beautiful humility and opening of the manger in Bethlehem that the love of Jesus can transform us. In that way, we can become a gift of love for the ones who are living in the peripheries of the lack of love hope and all of that. We are called to make a difference. The difference begins with a little tiny drop of love. That is Jesus Christ. Once we become that manger, our hearts become that manger, we carry him and become and we become right there messengers of the good news. It's a beautiful moment a secret moment in a busy world. But how we let him to take place in our hearts is up to us. And right there, we will be, re we will be ready to live Christmas. It's not only there, it's beautiful, but how we make each one of us our own hearts that little manger in which Jesus is looking to take place and love us. In the presence of the Lord, we, we ask him to be among us with the power of his Holy Spirit that he can in, enlighten us and guide us and fill our hearts with hope and love when we dedicate this nativity scene. That the Lord bless this place and bless this nativity scene and help us to prepare ourselves for the celebration of Christmas. And following the example of Mary, that give us peace to open ourselves and our hearts to the presence of the mystery of Jesus Christ among us. We ask the Lord to bless this nativity scene, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.